I work in uh, actually in two departments, uh, the Department of Orthopedic Surgery and uh, the Department of Cell Biology. Uh, my formal training is in uh, uh, biophysics. My PhD is in biophysics, and I also uh, have a degree in law. When I was a, a graduate student uh, in uh, studying physics at Syracuse University in New York, um, I learned about some very uh, innovative uh, and exciting research being done by uh, uh, an orthopedic surgeon uh, um, uh, to test ideas about the role of electrical energy in the body. Uh, as, uh, uh, I interviewed with him uh, and began working in his lab, uh, and that's where I performed my research for my dissertation, for my PhD, and I've worked in that area ever since. Perhaps the most important uh, um, uh, kind of knowledge we have uh, uh, is, is, a, is a, a deeper appreciation than that has ever existed before um, regarding the fact that the, that the, uh, the, uh, the living organism, something that's alive, um, uh, is, is, uh, is alive because of electrical uh, 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 properties of the body. Uh, uh, electricity essentially is the, um, is the uh, uh, factor that uh, allows uh, living things to do what they do, uh, the laws of electricity. And uh, uh, we, we, we realize that now, and we also realize that uh, that there's a danger um, associated with, um, with um, uh, sometimes forgetting the fact that, that a human being, for example, is, a, is an electrical animal. Um, when we expose ourselves to man-made electrical signals and don't think about the consequences um, for, for health, um, we, we make a serious mistake. Uh, it's that appreciation, I think, that's the single most important thing. It's a form of energy. It's, it's something real, uh, something measurable. Uh, and in the context of a mobile phone, for example, it is, uh, it, it is the means by which um, the handheld telephone uh, is able to communicate um, with a, a base station perhaps uh, uh, 20 kilometers away. Uh, uh, the electrical signal is something that comes out of the cell phone and, and goes in two directions. One direction is toward the base station, uh, and the other direction is toward the user's head. And that's the basis of a concern about uh, health consequences. It, it's not difficult. It's something routine. Uh, bef before the force, before electrical devices ever appear um, in, in society as uh, cell telephones or or high voltage power lines or any other electrical device, they are always uh, created in a laboratory environment uh, and, uh, and their function is studied. Um, so uh, 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 the question really is, um, uh, the answer really is that it's not difficult at all, it's just done routinely. It's difficult to, uh, to provide a, a laundry list. Uh, it's like saying, uh, it, it, the question is roughly equivalent to asking me, uh, uh, what, what can you do with sound, or what are the consequences of light? Um, the, 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 the simple fact is that uh, electromagnetic fields, man-made fields, uh, are perceived by the body, and, and as a result of this perception, this detection, uh, an almost infinite variety of changes can occur in the body depending on other factors, the subject's genetic predisposition, uh, other, other stimuli that are in the environment, and so forth. Um, you can take, a, uh, you can take uh, many different kinds of measurements and find that they are affected by the presence of the field, just as you can imagine many, many different consequences can occur when somebody is presented with light or sound or, or some other stimulus. The experiments that I've been doing um, uh, go back to um, the first ones were in, um, the first ones with animals were around 1970. Um, so we've measured many, many different uh, uh, things. Uh, the, uh, uh, the growth rate of animals, 
uh, st uh, stressor hormones in the blood. Um, many, many uh, different things were measured in an attempt to begin to make sense of how uh, uh, these electrical signals affected the body. Now, uh, at this point in my career, uh, the focus is on brain waves, how external electrical signals affect the way the human brain works. But that's the end of a long line of research that goes back almost 40 years. The thing to be explained is, um, uh, at, at least in my view, is, uh, is h how it can be that a, that a human being who's exposed to electrical signals, a high voltage power line, a mobile phone, for example, uh, over a long period of time um, it, it is more likely to develop disease than that person would be if the exposure weren't there. That's the thing to be explained. Um, now, an explanation for that involves uh, some understanding of how the electrical signal uh, gets into the body, uh, how the body reacts to the, pre to the presence of that signal, and, and how that reaction ultimately leads to disease, three separate steps. Uh, the work that I do uh, now mostly uh, focuses on um, the, the first two steps, how the energy gets in and how the body reacts. Uh, it doesn't deal with the latter stage because um, that's for other folks to do.